I just want to get a little further ahead so I can um, show how to adjust, but like how to tie off the string mm -hmm. when you when you get to the end of the string. Do you do any other artwork? No. Oh yeah, that's hard. Yeah, I did a, I, I tend to be very hard on myself too with the work that I do. So I did a self-help book yeah. called The Artist's Way. It's a 12-week program and it just changed my life in every way you can imagine. It was the best self-help book I've ever done. Well, and it's so hard if you hold yourself to a high standard or hold or compare yourself to other people. Yeah, we all find our own way to express and now you're growing a human. So that's a very creative process. Yeah. Remember to eat lots of organ meats. Yeah, your body's probably craving it. Yeah. yeah. Tell them you need some some liver or some heart meat. Mm. It's not everybody's favorite food, but it really it really helps grow babies. I think it's vitamin K that, that comes from organ meats. So as you're stitching along the, so it's one stitch to one stitch to the bottom layer, right? So you're just doing one to the bottom and always going through the front to the back. If you go from the back to the front, the stitches won't line up together. So you'll know right away if it's, if it's not, if it's off. Um, and yeah, see the bark did break. Can you see that? Yeah, so it did break. Um, 
So as you're going around, you're just kind of guiding the pine needles in the circular direction and stacking them on top of the first row. I'm trying to go quickly so that I can get to the end of this string so I can show you how to tie your next string off. Because you've got four bundles of string, you don't have to use them all. You can make the basket as deep as you want, as tall as you want, as wide as you want. Um, as you're making it wide, you're just gonna kind of bend the rows outward, like with your hands, you'll just kind of push them out as you're stitching. Yeah. Yeah, I find that once you don't have to hold it, it's actually kind of soothing, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. especially when we do this top ring after lunch, if your hands are got lotion on them, then it's hard to hold it. <laughs> and I've heard there's a similar teaching with beading that if you make a mistake, sometimes you just leave it. And sometimes you intentionally leave a mistake in the, in the basket just to remind yourself you are human and mistakes are natural and they're a part of our process. And the only things that are perfect are the things that creator made. So sometimes if a basket is going perfect for me and everything's just going great, then I'll make a mistake, you know, purposefully. I don't think I've had that happen very often. <laughs> Usually there's some little, you know, you miss a stitch, you miss a loop, you go backwards. Yeah. I don't think I would ever finish anything if my grandmother had told me that. Because <laughs> um, like the pieces of artwork that I'm creating at the studio right now, I messed one of them up real bad, right? And I think it looks terrible and I would have thrown it in the trash, but then I was showing pictures to my brother and my brother said, well, if you don't sell that one, I want it. And I'm like, that one? That one's the messed up one. That one's going in the garbage. And he's like, no, that one's amazing. So it's kind of interesting. Sometimes the things that we think are wrong are right for someone else. Um, one of my favorite quotes about art is by Louis Riel um, and he said, my people will sleep for a hundred years and when they awake, it will be the artists who give them their spirit back. And that's one of my favorite 
quotes about art ever, you know, because it's sometimes the art is about us and our experience. And sometimes it's about, you know, what you do, how it affects other people, right? And it's always also about the community of, of both the people who enjoy it and the people who make it. I can get real philosophical about all that. <laughs> Art is my medicine, so. Yeah, and what's, what's really nice about these baskets is even if you have a weak spot, they all join together and lift each up, a, uh, lift each layer to become strong together. So you'll kind of notice that. You'll think something's weak and, and flimsy, and then you'll do the layer on top of it, and it'll be strong again. I think I'm at the exact same spot you are. So I'm just going through, I'm almost at the end here. So I'm just going through and I'm just pushing back the layers a little bit. I'm going to just try and catch some more of these um, of these tails in my stitch. So I'm just going underneath everything, even the tails from that first one. And now I'm starting the second layer. So with the second layer, I'll show you on this basket. So the first stitch is here. And then the second layer, we're gonna do two to each bottom stitch. And this is just gonna make the basket a little stronger. You can see how it starts as a single and then becomes a double. So each of the bottom layer stitches, you're gonna go through it twice. So then I'll show you. Let me just fill my straw here. So I'm going through, here's my bottom stitch here. This is the stitch I'm going through. This is the first stitch of the second layer. I'm going through once. Pull it tight. Move that straw. And now I'm going through again, through the same spot. Okay. Oh, roughly, it doesn't have to be perfect.
So I'm just gonna mention this for the camera because I talked to you about it, but make sure that the straw is not overly full, right? You want it to be able to slide on its own easily because if it's too full and you slide the straw, it will pull the needles out as you're sliding the straw and you'll end up with a weak spot. So I'm going through once and then twice. Good, and I might as well tie it off because I don't have much string left. So here is my, I take my needle off. I'm grabbing another piece. Sorry, did you? No. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's the, not the same watching it on a TV, hey? Eh? No. Yeah, so we're just grabbing a second set of string and you can see two tails here. This is actually my, the beginning of my basket. So I'm just gonna move it out of the way so it doesn't confuse things. So to move it out of the way, I just put the needle through and then I just go through the very bottom of the basket. And it's just hanging out in the bottom there. And if you're real fancy, you might like weave it into the, to the rest of the basket, but we're not gonna worry about that. So I'm taking the, the piece of string, the new piece of string that I've got here and I'm tying a knot around the string that, we're, that we were just using. And then I push that knot right up against the wall of the pine needles. Then I take the tail of both the old string and the new string and I tie them together you can do it a knot like that and just pull it really tight. But the knot that I personally prefer to use is a little fussy. So I grab both strings together and I make a loop. I put both strings through the loop. So there's the loop, there's the knot. Now I'm taking my needle, making sure that knot is right up against the side of the basket. Now I'm taking my needle and putting it through. Let's see here, it's my angle. Putting it through the knot and holding it against the side of the basket and then just pulling that string until it's perfectly tight against the side of the basket. Then I take both strings and pull it tight. So that wasn't as tight as I'd like it to be normally, but it's fine. It'll hold, that's what's important. So that's how you put a new string onto your basket. And you've got four bunches of three meter string. So you can use all of that you might not need that much. I gave you extra just so you can use up as much as you want. And then when you've got a big long piece of string like this, it makes it easier if you run the needle through a bunch of the string and dub almost doubling up your string, but not quite all the way to the end, right? So then you have a shorter piece of string. And normally I prefer it to be a bit tighter than this. Let's see if I can get it to be a bit tighter. Yeah, that's okay. And then we just continue our stitches.
If it's too loose, it'll end up on the outside of the basket. That's why I don't like the way it is right now, but it's still usable. I'm just kind of pulling the needles into the curve as you're going along. Just kind of shape them together. And then you've got, you've got a bit of a tail on the two strings that went together. Hey, Nick. Awesome, how are you? So sometimes I'll put a daub of glue on that knot just to hold it really tight. But today I'm just cutting it. So I don't have a extra string. 